And we are back from our end busting session. Let's get to the safe spot. Right here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here from the Capscriber server. I went for a really long time. I did two sessions spending about two hours each, and the results are this. This is what I got. One, two, nine, ten, eleven almost 12 stacks of shells remember i have to give one to aiden and then i got nine elytras 49 diamonds which actually accounts for all the diamonds i spent on my shopping spree and a couple extra materials then i got this full shulker of stuff and this other shulker including three shulker heads and last but not least, I got a ton of end building materials, which I'll need further on. You'll see why. All right, let's pick this up. I'm quite happy with the results. It's been a long time since I end busted. Now we need to get to the next step in getting good, which actually is picking flowers with Bruno. Some of these, some of these ones, these ones too. Hello! Oh, orange! Look at this place, this is beautiful. Is, is this a flower forest? Yes, it is. They are everywhere, everywhere, every single spot. Oh, what, what about those? Why not just go shopping for dice? Look, we have the gravity shop, which actually sells tons of dice. I'm gonna buy some of those, the ones I'm missing, and I'll get right back to you guys. All right, here we are, back at the mine. I figured this was a nice spot to do this because we have space and there's not much going on. I told you a couple times that I did not have a base in the last season and you might be wondering, but Bruno, how did you manage to finish projects without having a proper storage system? How did you manage to stay organized? This is my secret or was my secret. The ender chest in combination with shulkers is one of the most powerful tools in this game. Those are tools that allow you to carry a storage system in your pocket. But here's the thing, look at this one. Right now, my ender chest is looking kind of sad. I mean, I have tons of shulkers, but they are filled with random stuff. This is a mess. Let's see if this works. Right... here. Nice! This is a shulker wall, and it is a great tool for organizing your shulkers. And now we take all of our shulkers, place them on the wall, there it goes. Let's empty our current ender chest. This is our temporary storage, we'll put all this stuff in here. Organizing your ender chest takes some time, but believe me, it's well worth it. So I'm going to die and name these boxes one by one, and I'll be right back with you. And we are back, and take a look at this. What a beautiful wall of shulkers. This is my valuables box. This is my redstone box. This is my equipment box. This one for books and documents. This is my light source box. This one's for glass. This is just for random equipment like end loot. This is for heads, because yes, I do have a box full of heads. This one's for consumables, like food, arrows, and ender pearls. This is my brewing box. This one for dice and flowers. This is for blocks that have a function, like workstations and such. This is for useful blocks that's always good to carry around. This white one is for wood and wooden stuff. Gunpowder, TNT, and rockets. Then we have these six boxes that are for blocks that I usually have tons of, like stone, iron, and such. And then we have these undyed boxes that are just for carrying stuff. These are usually empty. So I'm going to pick this up, put them in my ender chest, and we are done! Ladies and gentlemen, we just got a little bit gooder. So it's time to move on to the next step. And for that we are going to need tons of wood and wool. And we are also going to need berries. But now it's story time with Bruno. I am actually future Bruno speaking to you after I got good. Because yes, yes, I did got good. And yes, yes, I am totally stealing the chair idea from Iskal. Bruno, man. But getting serious now. Here's the thing. I had tons of recordings for the rest of my episode, but they got messed up. I just don't mind what's going on in the background, alright? So I had to find a way around it. Luckily, the replay mod files 
Was that an explosion? <laughs> Luckily, the replay mod files are intact, so I'm going to be able to use those. And I also managed to get the audio and some frames from the broken recordings. So let's see what I can put together with those. Time to flex your editing muscles, Bruno. So the next step in getting good was to do some bed mining. And yes, I know that Cab released a video explaining why bed mining is actually the worst method of getting netherite. But here's the thing, I recorded this before he released that video. And bed mining actually looks really great on camera. I mean, look at this. So I got tons of ancient debris. I used it to make netherite ingots. This is looking really, really good. There we go, 33. Eight netherite ingots. Then I upgraded my gear. I finally got to use this. I have to go with a pickaxe first. Top tool in the game. Helmet, because it looks insanely cool. Boots. My pants. My gun blade. Shovel. It can't be a flex hoe if it's not a netherite hoe. And lastly, my axe. Here we go. I mean, look at me right now. Isn't this fancy? But there was something missing. When you're playing on a server, you can't call yourself good if you don't have a shop. So I built a shop in the shopping district. And luckily, I got some intact footage from that. All right, we are almost ready to get started on our build. But first, we got to set... Aiden! Aiden, you ruined the take! We have to dig a really, really big hole all the way down to bedrock. So I'm gonna get to it and I'll be right back. We are almost there. Paige, right now, right there, is helping me. And we are almost done. Let me show you. We are almost there. Almost done. Just a little bit more. Let's get to it. First part of the build is done. Let's take a look at it from above. Look at this. Right now, this looks like just a regular fog effect, right? But once the rest of the build is done, you're going to see what effect I was going for with this. No time to talk. Let's keep on building. And the shop was almost ready to open. You can see that my idea was to bring a little bit of the end to the overworld. But there was something missing. I had something planned for the build, but I had to go back to the end to steal it. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to try to get one of the most obscure blocks in the game on top of our shop, and that is an immortal end crystal. As you know, when you try to respawn the ender dragon, the obsidian pillars regenerate, clearing a 21 block square area. When that happens, this block right here and this chest right here will disappear, activating this flying machine that will push the crystal out of the pillar. We don't actually want to fight the dragon, so we only have a small window of time to cancel the summoning without destroying the crystal. Enough talking, let's get down there and get this thing done. Helmet on, safety first always. Three, two, one. There we go. It's happening. Uh-oh. Fly machine activated. We don't have that much time left. I have to cancel the summoning. Let's destroy them. There we go. Cancel. And ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Look at that! We stole the immortal end crystal. Now I need to get all the way up there. This is supposed to be 
undestructible, all right? That is why it's called an immortal end crystal. And as you can see, we still got the beam. This is different than those ones. For example, if I shoot that one, as you can see, it got destroyed, right? If we done this correctly, if I shoot this, nothing happens. If you turn the hitboxes on, you can see the hitboxes for everything, including the regular crystals, right? But this one is special. This one doesn't have hitbox. Or does it, though? Look, the hitbox for an immortal end crystal is all the way up there for some reason. Now that we got the crystal, we have to push it through the end gateway. So I'll be doing that and I'll be right back with you. But there was one issue with that, so I had to ask Corgis for help. Hey, there she is, there she is. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, let's do this before my husband gets home with dinner. All right. <laughs> when you take the crystal out of the end, it appears at the spawn point of the world. And on this server, spawn is protected. What does that actually mean? That means that only mobs can place or break blocks on a certain radius around spawn. So nothing, that's it. All right. That we are done. All right, honey. Well, I'm going to let you go so that I can uh, get ready for dinner. All right. I hope you have a nice dinner with your family. All Thank right. you so much again, Corgis. You're welcome, sweetie. And see ya. Bye. And once the crystal was out of the protected area, I had to push it all the way to the shopping district. But doing that with a regular flying machine wouldn't look cool, right? So I actually built a flying car to do it. But something happened. I lost all the recordings from that day. There were tons of people there. And even though I managed to recreate these images you see, it will never be as good as what really happened that day. So we placed the crystal, and after that, Shulker Busters was back in business. Some time has passed till then, the shopping district grew and evolved, and my shop sold out many, many times. I mean, look at all these diamonds. You just can't say I didn't got good, right? All this was thanks to a very clever marketing campaign. Is your inventory full of junk? Is your base full of chests with random stuff? Are you tired of sending emails to Mojang asking for that inventory update? Don't worry, my friend. Shulker Busters has got your back. Best deals on Shulkers. One free dive with each box. Now selling bulk packages for your convenience. Located at Shopping District South. Just look for the Immortal End Crystal. Shulker Busters. Best prices of the Shopping District since Cascriber Season 1. And nothing. That's it. That's the story of how I got good. And here, from the chair of explaining why I don't have footage of what I did, is where we're going to end this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed my journey to getting good. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. My name is Bruno. This is the Capscriber server. And I am out. Goodbye.